So going out to the back of the house, we have a set of double doors that lead us into a, I guess, a vestibule. Uh, and the vestibule has got a really cool little sink on the side that's made out of marble. And it's got a little shelf over here. And uh, another set of uh, double doors that go out into the garden. Let's take a look. So this is the back garden. Um, this is one of the main reasons why we bought this property. It wasn't necessarily to get eight bedrooms or anything stupid like that. It was just that in France, when you're in a village, it's very difficult to get exterior property, like a, as in a garden. Uh, if you're in the countryside or something like that, and you're kind of out of walking distance from the down, from the, the village or the town, you can get more property. But when you're in an actual village like us, we're on a pretty main road, probably the main road. Um, yeah, getting this, getting that back garden is was a big deal. So what I've done is I've poured over the last three years, uh, well actually last, last summer basically, the end of last summer, I poured about 46 tons of concrete on my, by myself. Um, it was a big job. Um, I've also leveled uh, the garden. Uh, the whole garden tends to drain back towards the house. So I've added in, um, French drains along there to try to catch it. The patio slopes this way. I've also got a kind of a little motor, what they call canivos here that we're going to fill in um, that collects all the rainwater. And then that rainwater gets pumped into the garage, which then gets used on the sprinkler system to water the plants and water the grass. So it's a really good little system I've made over the last three years, designing it and building it. And it's just starting now to pay off finally. Now that I can grow grass and we've got rid of the dirt and all the, all the bad stuff. Uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, travertine tiles down on top of all the, the concrete. So it won't just be concrete. Uh, it's just, well, we're, if we're going to get the roof done, we're afraid that they're going to drop tiles or damage it. So there's really no point. There's no rush. Uh, we can still grow all the plants. We can grow the perennials and the, and the rose bushes and the vines and everything else we want to grow here and get things going and get the grass going so that we can uh, have a nice garden in a couple more years when we get the roof done. So yeah, basically this is the kitchen on this side, obviously the hallway over here um, is going to be, this is the sunroom area, which I was talking about. And this is the extension, I don't know if you can see it, but this whole section was added on, you think in the sixties. So what we're going to do is replace the windows, be something more in keeping with what those are, kind of that French style. And then we're not sure if we're going to do the whole length of this or just this section and replace it with doors. And then as you can see, it's going to go out on the pool, which will be quite nice. Um, we've also had to build, because one of our cats is very sick, it has leukemia, some kind of feline leukemia. I don't really understand it. Uh, it wasn't supposed to survive. We bought some really kind of dodgy drugs and paid too much money and we saved this cat. Uh, but you can't never get exposed from another cat that has it. Otherwise it will get it again and we'll have to pay for it to be go to the hospital and get these injections and stuff like that. So we've had to build a catio. So all of our four cats go to the catio. They love it. They're not there right now, but normally they love it. They love to sit in the sun. They're out. Uh, we also take them for walks around the garden on a leash, which they kind of like. Um, and uh, we also have the whole reign of the house them to run up and down. So they love running up and down the stairs. So it's not that they don't get an exercise. It's just they're now kind of inside, semi-outside cats. Yeah, I did the patio. We've got some shelves there. I got to take care of some of the weeds and stuff, but uh, I've been doing a lot of work uh, on the outside of this garden. Uh, some of the other things I've done is I've repaired uh, this arbor. Uh, the arbor basically runs the depth of the uh, garden. Uh, I put lights on it, um, repainted it, straightened it all out. Uh, it, towards the back of the garden, a branch from a big tree this big tree here fell onto it and it bent and, and broke off a lot of the the metal so i've repaired and replaced and welded the metal and got everything straight mostly straight you know it's once again it's old we don't care too much but i've done all that uh, i've also repaired we have a little uh, gazebo kind of thing that i'm trying to grow uh, vines up on this side over here um, repaired all that the last big thing to do is I got to repair the greenhouse towards the back. The greenhouse is going to be a whole summer. Um, there was a whole nother tree beside where this large tree is now uh, that they were basically jammed together. And those roots ran under the greenhouse, destroyed the floor like it was up like this much and lifted all the, 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 the walls that hold up the metal. So over the last three years, I've been kind of just I removed all the roots, dug under it and just letting it settle down and kind of naturally kind of fall back into place, I think. So maybe next summer, maybe the summer after, that'll be the big challenge. And I'm going to re remove all the glass from it, 
label it, and then basically straighten all the metal out, paint it, rust proof it, uh, and then put all the glass back in, fixing, including fixing all the, the glass that's broken in it. And then hopefully we'll have a nice place in the winter to sit and have a coffee or whatever and sit and enjoy the weather. It gets a little cool at night, you sit in there. Uh, we can grow lots of plants in there. We're going to put a heat pump in there so we can get it cooled in the summer and heated in the winter so we can run the greenhouse all year round. Um, but yeah, that's part of the plan and that's what we've done back here. I've still got to do the lamppost. Uh, I've repaired the fountain which was didn't hold water. Uh, it recycles. Uh, and then I have a bunch of uh, storage tanks in the garage, which I'm going to add to this winter, that basically allows me to collect all the water because there's so many water bands here where I able to use water. So I'll try to get another video out showing you the whole process and why it took me three years and how much was done getting this pool in, removing the tree, uh, what else? All the other work I've had to do to get this garden to be kind of taking care of itself, including all the automation and the sprinklers and stuff like that. So anyways, let's go and check out, check out the garage.